Leviticus, the third book of Moses, chapter 10. And Nadab and Abi, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer, and put fire therein, and put incense thereon, and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord, and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is it that the Lord spoke, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. And Moses called Mishael and Ezaphan, the sons of Hosea, the uncle of Aaron, and said unto them, Come near, carry your brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near, and carried them in their courts out of the camp, as Moses had said. And Moses said unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and unto Ithamar, his sons, Uncover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest ye die. And lest wrath come upon all the people, but let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, be well the pan in which the Lord has kindled, and ye shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle congregation, lest ye die, for the anointing oil of is upon you. And they did according to the word of Moses. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Do not drink wine nor strong drink, thou nor thy sons with thee, when ye go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. It shall be a statute for ever throughout your generations, and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean, and that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord has spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. And Moses spoke unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and unto Ithamar, his sons that were left, that the meat offering that remains of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and eat it without leaving beside the altar, for it is most holy. And ye shall eat it in the holy place, because it is thy due, and thy son's due, of the sacrifices of the Lord made by fire, for so I am commanded. And the wife priest and heave shoulder shall ye eat in a clean place, thou and thy sons, and thy daughters with thee, for they be thy due, and thy sons due, which are given out of the sacrifice of peace offerings of the children of Israel. The heave shoulder and the wave priest shall they bring with the offerings made by fire of the fat. Twelve eat for a wave offering before the Lord, and it shall be thine, and thy sons with thee, by statute forever, as the Lord has commanded. And Moses diligently sought the God of the sin offering, and, behold, it was burnt. And he was angry with Eleazar and Ithamar. The sons of Aaron which were left alive, saying, Wherefore have ye not eaten the iniquity of the congregation, to make atonement for them before the Lord? Behold, the blood of it was not brought in within the holy place. Ye should indeed have eaten it in the holy place, as I commanded. 
And Aaron said unto Moses, Behold, this day have they offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord, and such things have befallen me. And if I had eaten the thin offering today, should it have been accepted in the sight of the Lord? And when Moses heard that, he was content. <laughs>